Most people would think we will fail, you know, because they don't think co-parenting can happen. Oh, look, I came from a man bun. It's the, and it's a girl because it's Tierra Jr. But it's a junior, so it's a man. No, it's a junior because it's a girl. It's a tier. Juniors junior. aren't women. Junior. It's Tierra Junior. All right, I gave her a man bun, child. Yeah. That's a good one. Season to be jolly, but I cannot be when I have no. Child. It's baby for me. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell, yeah, league. So... I has my titty with me. <laughs> Hi. So y'all, for one, I just want to thank all of y'all for tuning in. How y'all be tuning? You dig what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate y'all for, I don't know, just literally staying loyal, even to those that like me, that really love me on the low, but really don't like me. <laughs> you know, hate just turns into love every time, and the fact that you still watching. Post your little comment that you hate me and shit. Like, I love that. And I love you. And I appreciate it. Do you get what I'm saying? And um, <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that. So this is going to be an unedited video because I just I like the way this looks. But do I feel like editing? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So baby, be nice. God, I leave. am nice. Gotta watch her lips, child. I'll be like, hold the act. Mm -mm. Honey, stop. Be nice. <laughs> All right, so... I wanted to make this video today and I told TT, you know what I'm saying, I want her to pull up because I've been seeing a lot of things about y'all speaking about me being a parent. Um, and it's been all positive comments. I just want to put that out there. Just absolute positive comments. And I wanted to speak about, you know, how it feels to be a bonus mom, you know, and, um, Y'all have been asking, do I plan on having another child? Right. So, well, how does it feel to be a bonus mom? It actually feels amazing. I'm going to say this. I feel like becoming a bonus mom has literally changed my life. Now, for those that just coming along, you know, welcome. You know what I'm saying? Um, I apologize that you missed a lot of things but at one point in my life I did not think that I would be a good mother I didn't think that I would be a good mother because of um, you know the egg donor that I have that's mm -hmm. the, the nicest way I could put it although I was raised by a, a fantabulous woman okay that's my mama mm -hmm. um, but you know you still have those reservations you still have those mommy issues when you um, have a parent that is absent you know as a child you wonder like wow what the fuck i do what happened but girl that's a whole nother story um but i literally just thought that i would be a terrible parent also because i had terrible patience mm -hmm. my patience was so bad and the things that i couldn't handle certain things i'm gonna give you an example because I know some of y'all going to think this petty, but I don't care. I have a terrible issue with noise. Like, I can have my phone loud sometimes when I'm just looking at my phone. Sometimes. However, if somebody else got their phone loud, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Now, immediately. Immediately. Now, I have gotten way better. <laughs> but when I first got here, it was terrible. She'd be like. <laughs> because you know why also I watched uh, Instagram for a whole year and YouTube I watched that shit for a whole entire year and I really feel like I wasted a year of my life now granted I learned a lot 
you know, clearly um, I'm in a way better position from watching. I, I'm a hands-on learner, so that's how I learn, but it wasted my life. And a lot of people that watch Instagram be just watching Instagram. Niggas just be chilling on Instagram, just watching other people's life. And I hate that shit. <laughs> but I watch it for educational purposes, or nowadays it's been for dogs. Love me a dog. I don't know what's going on, but um, that's one of the things. You got to say I've gotten better on that. Yeah, she got a little better, y'all. I feel like I'm way better on that. She but, she plays her noise more often on her phone now. So it's more so now I'm like, really, babe? Like, now she don't want to hear. But like, if you cut yours on, I don't even say nothing. That's because I don't have mine on. The only time I have it on is when I actually have Netflix on. And it's when she's doing something. I know she over here messing with something. And she ain't got no other noise on. Or she got ed her educational stuff going on. And she trying to figure some stuff out. You cannot have your shit going on too. See, I can't think that way. I gotta be able to think. Uh-uh. See, that's when your mommy is supposed to tap in. And you're supposed to... This is where <coughs> meditation... You see, I'm... You get, this is where meditation comes in because when you're able to focus on one thing, you're able to tune out everything else. Says the person that has an issue with that too. Girl, she can't do two things at once. I at sure all. can't. But my point is, I feel like I've gotten. Me. I feel like I've gotten better at that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just a lot of things. I, what I've learned is that I have just been a spoiled child. I have been acting like a spoiled chat. child. Spoiled ass chat. That's what I've been acting like. For real, for real. It's almost like you're not really an adult until you have children. <laughs> because when you realize the shit that they do is really the shit that you be doing, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Then it really looks stupid. It does. Mm -hmm. I will say that. So I, I have to say, I feel like I've matured a lot on that area. Um... When somebody touched me, I, I used to be jumpy or like get off me or like just weird. And she I was weird with affection, period. Yeah. But I get so much affection these days. I have, I don't really have that many complaints. Um, they'll come lay on me or just hug me and, you know, you, you just melt. You just <laughs> turn into a fucking teddy bear. At least I do. Um, so I've gotten way better with affection, just certain things that I had in my mind as a negative connotation, just because I don't know. It's almost like I didn't want it. I, I can't explain it, man. You didn't want it because of, um, your mommy issues. That's what it was. So once you, once you got that out the way and you were able to deal with your mommy issues, now you can see what you don't want to do, what you will do. But you know what I'm saying? Like you're able to see things a little bit clearer because you had your closing to yours. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It definitely yeah, does. The door was like completely open <clears throat> and it was that missing part. Like, And it was like halfway open too because it's like, why is it open? Why it's halfway it open because you had a mother. You know what I'm saying? You had, you had someone that loved you unconditionally. Half. You know what I'm saying? And... No, I'm talking about Ma. Mm. You know, Ma was there. You know what I'm saying? Ma was the one that was taking care of you. And, right, right. You know, making sure you was fed and hair was combed and stuff like that. And going right. to games and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then that other half, you know what I'm saying? The reason why your door was open is because you didn't understand why you were the way that you were. Because this woman is not the one that gave birth to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So those missing links was that door that was still open and it was her so yeah i have been doing a lot of um soul searching i will say for the past couple years mm -hmm. um just certain situations exposed my um what you call that shit my not insecurities but my my reservations on things and my triggers mm -hmm. um for sure. And some insecurities. You can't oh, say and, that. Yeah, but I, well, that's not what I was speaking on specifically. But yes, um, some insecurities as well uh, with certain situations. When I care about a person, when I care about something, um, I'm very passionate in, in that. And if I don't, then bitch, I just don't. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just grateful that I do have children now. 
that I am helping raise, you know, and it takes a village. You see, I got a bunny chilling on me. This is not my bunny. This is London's bunny. That's but your grand bunny. This is my grand bunny. <laughs> and, um, grand bunny, Tierra Jr. <laughs> right. <laughs> and there's certain things I just wouldn't have cared about, like this bunny. But, you know, this is this is sentimental to me now. <laughs> You're on the bunny. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I just want y'all to know, you know, if anybody out there and you're a bonus mom and you are the shit. I actually, um, my family is based on that. We all have a bunch of dope ass in-laws, to be honest with you. You know, and we just bring people in like they are family. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I was raised anyway. So that is pretty much how our household is running. And like um, we went to Charlotte for Thanksgiving and my nieces kicked it with my daughters. And they were all cousined up. Right. It was dope. Yeah, they exchanged numbers. And so, so now we've really got to like make sure. Go to Charlotte and shit. But it's really, really dope. I'm not going to lie. I, I, it's like I look forward to my day. You know, I look forward to having something to do. They gonna keep you with something to do. I'm gonna oh, tell you child. that right yes, now. Yes, they are. You gonna always have something to do. Social but. butterflies. Yeah, but um, yeah, I wanted to make a video about that because a lot of y'all were wondering, and I just wanted to put that out there. And do I want to have another child? I do. However. Uh, I'm not having it. She's not body. carrying, y'all. Um, <laughs> TT said that she will, of course. I don't care. <clears throat> but, you know, the way this world's set up, man. My mom always told me you can never financially be ready. But I just kind of want to <laughs> at least be more financially ready than... You know, I, I don't know. I, like, I, I, I feel like... Even when you think you got enough, you don't have enough. And I agree with that. But at least let me have something. And I'm not saying I'm, you know, broke, but it's just like, you see what I'm saying? I, I want to have, have a, I want to have a house already because we need to get them in their own room. They're sharing a room. But guess uh, what? Us Leos, we use a lot of fuel for our fire, right? Mm -hmm. So if we was to get pregnant, you know that is just oh girl, that's over with. We I have a house in two months. No, we <laughs> have. Two other cars. Already. Look, I'm just saying. Like, I get what you're saying. You can never plan for it. I you get can't. it. I get it. I get really it 100%. Can't. I, I mean, just I went through it. So I have to figure out when. I have to figure out how. She thinks that this is just going to be some fairy tale. Oh, I get to pick, pick, pick. You can but only I pick. Can pick. You can only pick so much, honey. I can pick the gender. I can pick the uh, the race. And what else can you pick? Uh um, the the big fuck. But you cannot pick a perfect time. No, is yeah, what I'm yeah, trying I, to I, get you to. I see. didn't know what you're saying. Definitely, I can pick this. I can pick that. Yeah. I can pick this. I can pick that. I can but pick picking, this. Picking but the perfect, perfect time, time is a dub. It's not happening. So I get it. Even when you feel like it's the wrong time, guess what? You are bringing a whole another life into this world, and then there you go. Oh, it's the best day ever. <laughs> oh, see, you got to experience that. So I would like to experience that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just letting y'all know. Yes, I would love to have a, another child. No, she's not caring. Hell no, I ain't carrying. I when? Carry. No idea. <laughs> but it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And if it's any future baby fathers out there, whatever, that want to, you know what I'm saying? What's going on with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I already, got, got, future baby father. I already got one baby daddy. Oh, I got some. No. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know, but Trump put back off. <laughs> Look, okay. Just know I'm excited. I'm excited in my life. Um, I have, you know, responsibilities. <laughs> the ears for me. I have responsibilities now. I look forward to things. I actually want to be outside. And you know, last year, somebody told me that I was not ready for this. 
They yeah. told me like you you're not gonna be able to do this. And girl, I just want you to know, because if you watch this baby, it's getting done. And I love it. I have to say that I can confidently say I'm a great fucking parent. <laughs> you are. <laughs> how do how do you feel about me being a bonus mom? How about that? Uh, it took some getting used to. Um, because um, the naked eye sees you know man woman. Um, but I love it. Um, what you mean? I'm confused. You know, the naked eye loves to see a man and a woman together. So, two women that are co-parenting with a man involved. Um, two kids, girls at that. You know what I'm saying? We're raising women. Mm -hmm. And we co-parenting and we're doing a damn thing. We're not a statistic. <laughs> um, <laughs> most people would think we will fail, you know? Because they don't think co-parenting can happen. Oh, look, I gave him a man bun. It's the, and it's a girl because it's Tierra Jr. But it's a junior, so it's a man. No, it's a junior because it's a girl. It's Tierra. Uh, juniors junior. aren't women. Junior. It's Tierra Jr. All right, I gave her a man bun, child. Yeah. Sicko. Anyway. I just feel as though it wasn't even all. Huh? Why you have to get it used to it? <laughs> Why? Because I was used to be with a man. All oh, right. It's like, what are you talking about? Well, I was just asking. The naked eye. That's what they. That's what the naked eye is used to. Uh -huh. Man, woman. Here we are. Not as not the usual. But you know, we're not a statistic to where you know we're beefing and stuff, and mm -hmm. you know. So is it hard being with a woman? Um, uh, emotionally, yes. Um, uh, I've been dealing with men and, um, nine times out of ten, they don't show their emotions until when they just either sick, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. uh, somebody had not passed, you know, something very traumatic has to happen and sick is number one on the list. Okay. <laughs> so, um. Uh, Dealing with the day-to-day -day emotional part of it, yeah. Because although you act like a man, you still have woman emotions. As a woman. Yeah. But is it deal with the book? Yeah. It's just different because I've been with men. Right. You know? So I didn't have to deal with, you know, me. I get it. I have to deal with me now. It's yeah. like, golly, girl. <laughs> girl! The fuck? But See, anyway, I could say that to a man and he wouldn't feel no type of way. I say that to you, honey. I'm like, like, what you mean? Get the fuck. Okay. He was like, all right, babe, fuck you. Boop, boop, boop. Niggas <laughs> like the play. I don't like the play. Uh, it don't even but be my cousins, it ain't no play. My cousins are men, brothers, all of them. None of them like to play. No, my daddy. It ain't no playing. <laughs> nah, but, um, yeah. <sighs> I get you. I get you on the emotional side. Um, child's about to get into a whole other part. That's going to be a whole other video about two women dating each other. It, it just can be a bit much. Touch and go. Touch and go. Honey, touch and go. What that mean? Double Double dutch. Say what I got to say. Touch and go. Touch and go. Say what I got to say. Get off of it. Double dutch. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Eggshells. Like, oh, you know, that's how it is. Double women. Dutch, yes. It's like, bitch. <laughs> hold on, bitch. <laughs> Wait a minute. Should Wait, I? Hold no. on. Wait, Ooh, bitch. What? Okay. <laughs> Johnny Bravo. Yeah, I remember that. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> the only person remember Johnny Bravo. I love Bravo. Cartoon Network. <laughs> she loved Cartoon Network and bears, y'all. Yes. Nickelodeon. Stuffed animals. Come on, Nick. Hmm. I've been watching Nickelodeon before he was even. Oh no, Nick <laughs> Come well, on, Nick. Anyway, um, listen, y'all. I just wanna, I just wanted to do this video. Come on, bonus, mommy. I needed you to be in company. Your feet are wet. L. It's just, <laughs> just cold. Cold ass foot. My feet are cold. Your feet are wet. L. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> you think I have a sock on? 
little disgusting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted y'all to be in, um, you know what I'm saying? Know what's going on with me or whatever. And no, uh, they just need to know what, what you got going on in your life now on Broads as well, huh? Or oh, whatever. <laughs> Y'all let us know what type of videos y'all want to see. Because Royalties in Candyland, girl, is on retirement right now. so uh, It's on the shelf. Yeah. We putting out the Vlogmas intro on the first. We're actually on time with everything. So, yay. We're just waiting like this. Okay. So, um, that's it. That's all I got to say. What you got to say? You good? Get used to me. I'm here. Okay? Facts. <laughs> Facts. Until royalties in Kenny Land pick back up, okay? <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Shabbat! Yay! <sighs> <sighs> I did that.